that showdown over the government shutdown. Clock is ticking. Money set to run out at midnight, one year to the day of President Trump's inauguration. The ball is in the Senate's court now after a vote in the House last night. And our senior congressional correspondent, Mary day. Bruce, is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning, Mary. George, good morning. With just hours to go, there is no solution in sight. The House last night did pass a plan to temporarily keep the government open, but the shutdown threat remains. And now this morning, all eyes are on the Senate. Overnight, the House passing a plan to temporarily keep the government up and running. Republicans are now ramping up the pressure on Senate Democrats. House Speaker Paul Ryan daring them to shut down the government. The only people standing in the way of keeping the government open are Senate Democrats. Whether there is a government shutdown or not is now entirely up to them. But several Senate Republicans aren't sold on the plan, and a strong majority of Democrats oppose it. The House bill is a joke and does not have my support. They're demanding any deal include action to protect dreamers, those nearly 800,000 undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. Democrats argue if there is a shutdown, Republicans and the president are to blame. Our Republican leader has said that he will not negotiate until he knows where President Trump stands. That's why negotiations haven't gotten anywhere. There is a bipartisan proposal on the table, but the president has rejected it. Even some Republicans are urging him to close the deal. You need to be a street fighter in many ways to clean up Washington, but you also need to be the president of all of us. There's a time to fight and there's a time to deal. It is now time to deal. Now, the blame game is already well underway here. Republican leaders say Democrats are holding funding hostage to get what they want on Dreamers, while Democrats say Republicans will ultimately be to blame for any shutdown because they're in control here on the Hill and at the White House.